morning. I'm Dr. Whitney Jones. I'm a gastroenterologist, a clinical professor at the University of Louisville, and the founder of the Colon Cancer Prevention Project. We're here to take a tour of the giant uh, educational colon uh, that is touring Kentucky to spread the word about colon cancer prevention and early detection. Uh, the reason we're doing this is Kentucky has had a huge problem in the past with colon cancer. We've led the nation in both incidence and mortality cases, and for years we were one of the worst screening states in the nation. So through a great partnership, including the Kentucky Department of Public Health, we're now trying to increase those screening numbers, reduce uh, preventable suffering and premature deaths from colon cancer. So we're going to go ahead and take a walk through the colon. Everyone has now or at some time in their life had a colon. It's the place where we store our waste products from eating and uh, prior to uh, elimination. It's also uh, thankfully the only place that colon cancer hides. It's about a six foot long organ uh, and again for the most, of the most of our lives we don't even give it a second thought. But as we age and we get older it serves as a site for colon polyps and colon cancer development. We're going to talk a little bit about this today. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about what the predisposing issues for colon cancer are. Primarily, it's a disease of aging, and it occurs as we get older, and particularly beyond the age of 50, we develop small growths and bumps in our colon. Other diseases which will predispose you include inflammatory bowel disease, such as Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. Uh, also, family histories are extremely important. We'll talk about that a bit in the future. But also other risk factors that we have a lot of in Kentucky, smoking, uh, high weights, uh, sedentary lifestyles. These are all extremely important risk factors, but what I want to leave you with is the importance of screening and early detection because when you have polyps or you have early colon cancer, there are no symptoms. So let's talk about what, where most polyps come from. About 80% of colon polyps occur as a result of aging. One out of three men over the age of 50 have colon polyps and one out of four women have colon polyps. And these appear as just small bumps in your colon endoscopically. And again, you would have absolutely no symptoms of this. And they're detected through either endoscopic manners, such as colonoscopy, or can be detected because they shed small amounts of blood into the colon. About 10% of polyps uh, over time develop genetic changes that lead to colon cancer. But again, colon polyps and colon cancer in their earliest stages have absolutely no symptoms. So the importance of screening and prevention are great. Um, some of the issues from a family standpoint that you need to know about in terms of colon cancer are also demonstrated in the educational colon. Certain families have a predisposition called familial polyposis, and this is where hundreds if not thousands of polyps develop in the colon, and 100% of people develop colon cancer by the age of 50. Uh, other genetic issues and family issues are important to understand, and probably a single important issue to take home is the importance of knowing your family history. So if you have colon cancer or colon polyps in your family, particularly early cancer, you need to have that discussion with your doctor, not at age 50, but even earlier at 40 or 30, depending upon that. Other early cancers also play a major role. So family history is an extremely important component of colon cancer. Now, over time, these small polyps that we discussed undergo genetic changes that lead to the uh, capacity for these polyps to continue to grow unchecked. And a small polyp then turns into a large polyp, and a large polyp eventually turns into colon cancer in many, many cases. And early colon cancer, as I stated, has almost no symptoms. So lots of folks are walking around today with polyps and early colon cancer and don't know it. That's why the importance of screening is so, so important. But screening tests detect colon cancer at its earliest stages where it only involves the superficial wall of the colon. Uh, it doesn't involve uh, blood vessels or lymph nodes to a great degree. So if cancer is identified through a screening test or a diagnostic test, you can evaluate it, remove it many times with a scope or at minimum with a small surgery. Early stage colon cancers rarely require chemotherapy or radiation and the survival for these stages are extremely high. And this is one of the benefits of early detection like we would see in breast cancer is finding these cancers at an early stage when there are no symptoms so that they can be removed uh, and such. Over time, again, uh, they can cause bleeding, abdominal pain, cramping, uh, change in bowel habits, unexplained anemia, weight loss, but in the earlier stages of cancer, they tend to be asymptomatic. Uh, it's a bit like uh, waiting for your oil, to uh, the oil in your car to, to blow up before you get a change. Checking your body before you have symptoms is the key to beating colon cancer. Now, we'll talk a little bit about what happens to colon cancer as it advances as we move around the colon. 
Unfortunately, when colon cancer begins to spread through the wall of the colon, we, we begin to describe this as advanced colon cancer, or stage three and stage four colon cancer. That's when the cancer involves blood vessels and lymph nodes and actually begins to move away from the colon into other parts of the body, including metastasis. And as we talk about that, we're going to demonstrate through the inflatable colon what this looks like uh, as, a, as a learning tool. When we talk about colon cancer in advanced stages, these are the uh, parts that we want to try to prevent through use of the educational colon. As you can see here, when cancer spreads through the wall of the colon, it begins to involve lymph nodes and blood vessels uh, that lead to late stage diagnosis. Uh, many times uh, these are accompanied with symptoms. Uh, <clears throat> the importance of preventing this through early detection can't be overemphasized. Uh, when this does happen though, we do have therapy. We have better treatment now than ever. But again, we'd certainly like to be in a preventative mode or early detection rather than treating uh, advanced colon cancer. Um, as cancer spreads through the wall, it involves other organs or lymph nodes or blood vessels, and this leads to the spread of the cancer through the body, again, leading in late stage cancer diagnosis uh, in the state. Well, we hope this uh, tour of the Kentucky Educational Colon has been helpful to you. We certainly like to see this in your community, helping out you and your loved ones. Uh, you can contact us at the Colon Cancer Prevention Project.org and ask for Petty Francis, our program coordinator. Thank you very much.